Hey, thanks for watching D's Tech Blog. Today I'm going to show you how to customize your BlackBerry Z30 with custom black vinyl. I'll be posting the link in the description directly to eBay where I bought my vinyl from. It cost me about $3.77 Canadian, including shipping, and that gave me a 12 inch by 50 inch piece of vinyl. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is if you have a fiber cleaning cloth here, you're just going to want to Make sure that you wipe the bottom of the device nice and clean to make sure that there's nothing underneath that might cause bubbles underneath the vinyl. So after we're done that, what we're going to do is grab our piece of vinyl, and obviously you don't need very much, just enough to cover the bottom. And we're going to set the device face down on top of the vinyl. And this is where it gets a bit tricky because the device is, the screen is very slippery. So you might have a bit of trouble holding it in place and making sure it doesn't move because you don't want to make your lines incorrect. So what I recommend is using a pencil just to make sure that in case you mess up you can easily erase it and start again. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the corner just where the lip touches on the side here. And you're going to trace all the way around to the other side just to the point where the lip stops. And then now we have our two connecting lines here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a ruler. And I'm going to connect to the top of each line and draw it straight across. So now we have our basic shape for the bottom of the phone. And I highly recommend using a razor blade for this part. Oftentimes scissors can be leaving you with jagged edges or um, not straight lines. So I'm grabbing a razor blade here and I'm going to line up my ruler just to make sure that this line is extra straight. Once I have it lined up, I'm just going to go straight across here. So now I have the top defined here. Now the vinyl is self-adhesive, so you don't have to worry about adding glues or anything like that to your, the front of your device. Um, and also when I did peel it off, from the pictures you could see I did have it on before here, and there's absolutely no blemishes left behind from the adhesive. So after that's done, I recommend going along the bottom edge now, and making sure that that is straight as well. And after you've got your piece cut out, minus the curves on the side, now is when I would recommend grabbing a pair of scissors just to cut around the edges. And just follow your trace lines and go slow to make sure that you don't leave it um, sort of inaccurate. It's okay to go a little past the line, but you don't want to go on the inside because once it's over the line, we can actually trim it up fairly easily alongside the device. So now that's all trimmed out, we have our piece here. We can just set it there for show purposes, just to say, okay, yeah, I've cut it right. Then you'll separate the adhesive here. As you can see, it peels very easily and very similar to a basic sticker, so what you'd expect. So once you've got it peeled off, line it up very carefully along your device making sure it's very straight and then slowly from one side to the other gently peel off the tape allowing it to stick okay so after you have the adhesive vinyl on there if you're like me what you did was maybe just went a little bit extra so you might have some uh, excess material here on the side of the device so now what I do is gently with a pair of scissors I'm just going to go just touching the side of the device. Now, if you're very careful, you won't scratch the device at all. And just carefully go along, trimming the excess pieces off. As you can see, it peels very easily and very similar to a basic sticker, so what you'd expect. So once you've got it peeled off, line it up very carefully along your device, making sure it's very straight, and then slowly from one side to the other, gently peel off the tape, 
allowing it to stick. Okay, so after you have the adhesive vinyl on there, if you're like me, what you did was maybe just went a little bit extra so you might have some uh, excess material here on the side of the device. So now what I do is gently with a pair of scissors, I'm just going to go just touching the side of the device. Now if you're very careful, you won't scratch the device at all. And just carefully go along trimming the excess pieces off. So now after you're done and you've made the trims, the front of your device should look pretty sleek and all black. And I find that it gives the device a little more balance and a little bit more of a classier look. I don't mind the bottom chin, but I find this much more appealing. Now the added benefit to the amount of vinyl that you get for such a low cost, basically you eliminate the need to go out and purchase a prefabricated, already cut out um, sort of vinyl for your Blackberry. Now the other cool thing is, like I said, with the additional amount that you do get, as you can see I've done the trackpad on my Mac here, but I've also gone ahead and done the back of my Blackberry Bold 9900, which is obviously very simple to do as well. You're basically going to take the same method that we took with the Z30, just by taking off the back of the battery door, setting it down, tracing around it, and carefully cutting it up. Something like this is very easy to do and obviously very, very, very cost effective. So for under $4, essentially, I have basically a lifetime supply of vinyl for giving my phone or any other tasks that I need to complete. So it's a great price and a great way to customize your phone while minimizing the cost.